hello, hello, and welcome again to another Mike's Toy Review. I am your host, as always, Mike. And uh, to keep within tradition of past installments of Mike's Toy Review, we've taken you to such locales as Manhattan, New York, and Treasure Island. Uh, we try to keep the same themes and bring you to another glorious location, my room. So welcome to Mike's Humble Abode, where we will examine a new toy line that I might have bashed in the past and uh, has had some ups and downs. Uh, the, the, of course, this is the infamous Marvel Legends line, now owned, of course, by Hasbro. Uh, we will specifically look, look at the Hulk Legends, uh, and the Doc Samson figure we'll do a little review of today. Marvel Legends has had quite a few ups and downs, like I said. We have to remember our last series of Marvel Legends came back in 2007 in December. Uh, that was our last true series, and th those were, of course, the uh, Series 3 wave of the Brood series, as well as we saw a Fantastic Four running the Accursor. Uh, we got to see some favorites then. Uh, but then we also had, uh, in, I guess it was spring, we had the Spider-Man movie line of figures. Um, Finally, we do get to see something. It's not the true waves of Marvel Legends as they normally would have it, the wave one, two, three, but we're having the Hulk Legends, uh, inspired, of course, by the movie line. Um, this right here, of course, is our Doc Samson. Among the figures that, that will be presented in this line are uh, She-Hulk, Wendigo, uh, the End Hulk, Son of Hulk, Scar, uh, King Hulk, of course, the Savage Grey Hulk, and one of my favorites, Absorbing Man. This line had originally included the fan favorite by Beast from the Hulk comics, uh, but unfortunately they removed him and added him into the Hulk movie line, also done by Hasbro. This was a massive disappointment to myself. I personally have found the sculpt to be lacking, uh, as well as the scale, of course, was off. So I imagine, even though I have not seen it yet, I would be very disappointed with the by Beast version. Uh, Doc Samson, or Dr. Leonard Samson, of course, started in 1971 uh, in issue number 141 of Incredible Hulk. And in that issue, he played, of course, the therapist who counseled uh, Bruce Banner, Robert Bruce Banner, and the Hulk. Uh, eventually, they removed the gamma radiation inside of him, so he was quote-unquote cured. Uh, Doc Samson took it upon himself because he was curious, and a scientist, of course, he exposed himself to the same gamma radiation, and that gave him superhuman strength as well as durability and long green hair. Uh, this green hair was proportionate to his strength, just like the biblical character of the same name, whereas the longer his hair grew, the more power he had. And shortly after his conversion into the gamma superpowered warrior, he began flirting with Betty Ross. And seeing this and being jealous, Banner decided to re-expose himself to gamma radiation, thereby returning his form into the Hulk. A short battle ensued, Doc Samson of course losing, and actually losing his powers for a brief amount of time. Doc Samson felt so guilty through this ordeal, he decided to uh, console the Hulk in future comics. Doc Samson has been known to counsel many superheroes from the Marvel Universe, including the Punisher and the Scorpion, among others. In the 2008 film, Incredible Hulk, he was portrayed by Ty Burrell. Uh, of course, non-superpowered, at least not yet. Louis Lettier has let on that he was interested in making a sequel with Doc Samson and, of course, the leader. Let's go ahead and open up our Doc Samson figure and find out what we have. Interesting looking package. We, have, we can see all eight on the back. A nice picture of Fing Fang Foom. Uh, brief description. A nice little picture there. It has a little biography of Doc Samson. And to tell you the truth, this is, I found this picture to be very humorous only because the placement of his name covers his wrist. And on this side, you can't even see his wrist. Why is this? Well, let's look. We open up the blister packaging here. Okay, and now we see Doc Samson in all of his finest. Doc Samson, I believe, has wonderful posability. This, of course, the articulation is at par to all Marvel Legends lines, and fans should not expect anything less. Uh, we see his 
His shoulders articulated in two areas, a ball joint as well as a swivel. Or hinge joint, I apologize. Uh, we see his elbow has the same thing. We have the hinge joint as well as the ball joint. This is what I was talking about, the wrist. This is the new sculpt for Marvel Legends. And it looks like it actually puts a plastic piece over the joint, I guess to hide the joint. I don't like this personally because you do still have that hinge joint, but it's much more firm. We still don't have finger joints, which is I'm sad about because he really can't hold a gun. Not that Doc Samson would need one, but it's nice. Um, but this wrist joint to me just looks a bit awkward. Uh, notice this on the rest of the figures as well. His head joint here, we can do a turn, and so it is a ball joint. It's a bit constricted by his hair. We can see his glorious green hair, not the short-haired version. We, of course, have the joint in our torso, uh, double-jointed in the kneecap of one of my favorites. A swivel in a, what looks like a hinge joint in the feet. So, all in all, it's a wonderful, posable action figure. Very impressed with it. Uh, but, like I said, we shouldn't expect anything less from Marvel Legends. The paint, actually, is really good. I, I personally have noticed a decrease in paint quality in some of these Hasbro figures, but we have no spackling. We have no paint, major paint errors. Everything seems to be wonderfully painted. You can even see his face there. Looks wonderful. Let's go ahead and compare Doc Samson to something of similar origin. I'm going to go ahead and grab a, a Marvel Legends Toy Biz version of the Hulk so we can see the scale. And oh, oh, sorry, wrong one. Here we go. With me here is Series 1, this is a golden oldie, of Hulk from the very first issue of Toy Biz Marvel Legends. To stand him next to Doc Samson, we can see they are the same height. Uh, this should be incorrect when it comes to the comics. However, I do not blame Hasbro. This lies in fault with Toy Biz. Seeing that this was an original figure in the very first series, I can forgive them, but this original Hulk was not put to scale. Go ahead and compare him to a Toy Biz version of my favorite Hulk villain, Leader. Leader here, ex-janitor, is possibly one of my favorite figures I own. This came from an original two-pack uh, face-off figure that came with the Hulk. And it's a wonderful sculpt. Uh, he's very thin, but if we put them side by side, they actually look like they're just about right in scale. Uh, Leader is going to be shorter, of course, but he has this elongated cranium to house his genius brain. And so I guess that would match him side by side with Doc Samson. So I'm pleased here. To compare him, of course, with another figure, we have She-Hulk. This was the She-Hulk from a, of course, the Hasbro line, not the current She-Hulk from the Hulk Legends line. Um, She-Hulk looks excellent. She's a bit taller, of course, than Doc Samson, which I think is normal. Um, so, all in all, I think the articulation, as well as the scale, fits the rest of the Hulk universe of gamma-irradiated characters. Of course, my biggest complaints from this line would be the price, as each of these retail for $15, and to me, it's a bit excessive. Uh, I can recall the days when Marvel Legends would cost $7.50, uh, they came with a accessory base, as well as a few accessories. You could display them up on your walls. And, to boot, they came with a comic book. So now, we don't get any of that. We don't get a single accessory. All we do get is a piece of a figure that we might be able to build, if we are able to locate all eight figures. Uh, $15 does get a little bit expensive if you're buying all eight. So go ahead and keep your eyes peeled on the shelves of your local retailer to see if you can get your hands on some of these great looking figures. And hopefully we can finally see Marvel Legends return in its glorious form. Thanks again for watching. Check out 3godkings.com for more of my reviews.